Huge shout out goes out to our current channel members. If you're interested in gaining a channel membership, then feel free to head over to my channel profile and click the join button. Also, we do have a Ninjago Discord server. It's a great way to communicate with myself and many others. For more details on that, click the very first link at the very top of the description of this video. So hello there everybody and welcome back on in to the channel here today for a brand new one, well, on the channel. Now, let's just say that the title of this particular video is no joke. As a few days ago now, we had a whole thread of, like, just bizarre and insane Ninjago news and leaks revealed to us, you could say. But these aren't any ordinary Ninjago leaks, you know, this isn't something covering, like, upcoming sets, new details, stuff like that. It's more so focusing on scrapped concepts, scrapped stories, and just things going on behind the scenes. Now, before we actually properly get on into today's video, I would just like to announce that this was confirmed fake. But at the end of the day, this was a pretty historic moment in the Ninjago community, to say the least. And so I feel as though today, well, we just have to cover it. But again, just keep in mind that all of what we're about to get into is just completely false information as far as we currently know, as Doc over on Twitter has replied to people's concerns and has labelled it as fake. But honestly, that alone is a topic for another time, as so many people in the community have been uh, questioning whether or not that's actually real or not. But that's besides the point. But essentially, right, there was somebody over on Instagram and also Twitter... And there was an insane different thread just covering so, so much stuff. I'm not literally going to be able to go over everything or else this video would, like, no joke, be probably, like, 20 to 30 minutes, maybe even 40 minutes if I was to truly go over everything and give my own take on it. But just to give you guys an overview, I will leave a link in the description to the tweet originally if you want to go and check it out for yourself. Obviously, just know that this, as far as we know anyway, is fake. But I will leave that link so that you guys can go and follow along with this video. But just so that you are aware, we have leaks for the fact that uh, Crystallized was kind of scrapped, the original concept was scrapped, and so the final around 10 episodes or so were completely remade in the space of like six months or something crazy like that. There was also the fact that we're kind of going to be getting a Skybound uh, season two of sorts, where Nadakan would be returning, and stuff really goes down in terms of Nadakan and the pirates and all of that kind of stuff coming back after the Teapot of Tyran rumours. Uh, there have been leaked legacy set lines, just crazy stuff going on behind the scenes from Lego, like Tommy and Bragi apparently kind of just getting the boot from the show. So much crazy stuff like this has been said here. And keep in mind, a lot of people have known about this information since around October. I personally didn't, by the way, but some of you guys may have already seen people online kind of saying that they've already known about it. That is true. And while they have known about this information... You know, it doesn't make it any more real, if that makes sense. They could have just known this fake information. So just because they've known it for like six plus months at this point in time doesn't really make it any more credible. And I feel as though a lot of people do just need to remember that. But that's kind of irrelevant to this video. The point is, so much insane stuff happened. And I believe this was on around Saturday, Sunday kind of time. It overlapped into those two days. But I believe it was actually confirmed to be fake over on uh, late Saturday, from what I saw at least. And you see, when this happened, and as this was all going down, seriously, the Ninjago community erupted. It exploded. People were getting a little bit toxic. You know, there was a big battle between people who thought these were real leaks and people who thought they were fake. And just so you guys are aware, because obviously you're watching my video, my own personal thoughts on this were that some parts would be real, some parts would be fake. But I wasn't really too sure overall. Although I will say that some stuff was super, super realistic, like the crystallized being scrapped. And then them having to remake the last 10 episodes, I felt as though that was definitely something that could have been real, just because of the fact that there was definitely a big tone difference and story difference in between the rest of Crystallized and those final 10 or so episodes. But at the same time, there are things that go against that, like, for example... It would not have taken them six months to remake those ten episodes. It would have been much longer than that when you consider voice acting, obviously planning, scripting, animating, all of that good stuff. It just wouldn't have been possible. There was also another big bit about um, uh, Cole becoming uh, gay, something along those lines. That was another big plot point that had a lot of uh, drama erupt as a result of it. Uh, what else was there? There was the fact that Wu was going to be dying in his fight with the Overlord. There was just so much bizarre stuff going on. And all of these sort of like micro segments of all of this drama just all clashed together and created something that I can only refer to as a complete explosion in and around the Ninjago community. Because again, seriously, this was absolutely insane stuff. And I feel as though this last weekend that we've just had has probably been one of the most chaotic in the Ninjago community ever, at least from my own personal experience. And yeah, and there's also the fact, right, that Doc did confirm this to be fake but a lot of people were saying that he's under NDA and so he can't really say anything because obviously he works under Lego but if that was true I feel as though he'd probably 
be better off just not addressing it at all, as opposed to actually going out and calling it fake. You know what I mean? I just feel as though it wouldn't have been addressed either way. I, if I was in his position, I probably would have done the same and just completely blanked it for a while. But yeah, that's really a topic for another time. And at the end of the day, we're just going to have to really go along with it because we're really never going to know the truth if any of this is actually somehow real. So I feel as though we need to just kind of put this whole thing to bed now and just relax and just kind of move on from this topic. It's been a, such a huge piece of drama in the community recently. Watching it unfold has just been a mega. It's just been wild. But I think that's basically going through it from me here. I know a pretty strange one. I just really wanted to get this all off my chest. I am literally not scripting this at all. I am just turning on my mic and I'm just talking freely to all of you more than ever, really, because I just wanted to go over everything that we've had going on recently. But I think that's basically going through it from me here. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Please though, before you guys do all head out, feel free to leave any of your own thoughts on all of this down below in the comments and yeah, I'll see you soon for my next video. If you did enjoy this one though, please do feel free to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel for more and hit the notification bell so that you behind the screen there, yes you there, you can keep up to date on all things Ninjago here on the Overlord X YouTube channel. And with all of this being said, I will catch you all soon for my next one. Goodbye everybody, see you all soon.